Welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom, and this is going to be an unboxing video of sorts. Uh, essentially, I've got most of my geeky memorabilia, uh, stuff, movies in storage. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll have a bit of fun and kind of unbox some of this stuff, and sometimes I even forget what's in some of these. I will give a shout out to AJ's Movie Place, who actually did a similar video uh, some time ago and gave me the idea for this one. So this first box is mainly full of toys and things. So well, let's let's have a let's have a little look. See what we got. So the first up, we have a few Funko Pops. Um, uh, I kind of jumped off the Funko Pop train. Uh, this one is a uh, Zombie Mobius, uh, which was an exclusive, I think, to like Loot Crate or somewhere like that. Yeah, I've kind of fallen out of love with Funko Pops. Not that I was ever super collecting them, but uh, yeah, these days not so much. Uh, this one is uh, from a Japanese or, or Asian kind of folk to folk stories. It's a glow in the dark one, and is the White Lady, not based off a sort of particular kind of um, pop culture thing, more of the, like, just like folklore. But I liked it because I kind of like glow in the dark things. I thought that was kind of a fun one. Uh, this one is. Um, uh, Venom, obviously, and uh, this is kind of was uh, from the underground toy store, I think. I'm not sure <laughs> who that is. We're not going to spend too much time on anything in particular, really. Uh, then we have a red stormtrooper. Uh, then we have the Punisher. Uh, Nemesis version, which is where he still kind of has his logo on his, uh, you know, painted on his face. This is obviously from a particular kind of comic book run. Uh, then we have Space Ghost. The box of this one is kind of falling apart. Uh, then we have the crow, uh, Eric Draven. So this is a glow in the dark one. And this one is Low Pan from Big Trouble in Little China. As you can see, the box is kind of um, come unglued in storage. I've never actually opened any of these, but the box have just popped apart. Uh, then we have uh, the Joker Batman from uh, Loot Crate. And then we have some um, figures for Disney Infinity. Uh, this was kind of a failed Disney um, a sort of game, electronic game. They had these figures and they, they basically sold them off for cheap because this thing didn't kind of take off. But I thought I'd pick up a couple of characters just because, uh, you know, I thought it was uh, the, uh, quite quite like them. Uh, then we have Venom from that. We have the Hulkbuster Iron Man. Obviously, I'm a Marvel fan, so I've tended to go for... I've got many of these, but again, just a few. And then we have uh, Boba Fett. And Captain America. A little bit of a bent card. Uh, then we have uh, this. Now this was a, uh, a handmade toy when I was a baby. So I've had this, I'm now 48. I've had this for, well, at least 47 years. So there, I've had that little toy since I was a baby. So nearly 50 years old, that is. Uh, 
Uh, we have uh, jet fire. Oh, this might be. I have to move the camera slightly. So this is the uh, original um, Transformers. I don't have much of my like original kind of toys left. I got rid of most of them, but I do have uh, this Jetfire. Obviously, you can see he's somewhat discolored. Doesn't have um, all of his accessories, but yeah, this is uh, one of my few kind of vintage toys, so to speak, that I have in still in my collection. I do have a couple of accessories that went with them. Uh, I also have Soundwave. I'm not sure if this is a vintage one or a remake, to be honest. I think it might be a remake. Uh, so, yeah. You know, uh, kind of like a modern version. I don't think it's an original. Um, but yeah, Soundwave. Was also one of my uh, was one of my kind of like favourite Transformers. Uh, what's that say? Does it say the date? No. Yeah. Anyway, so there you go. Might be might be an original. I don't know. Uh, I have a couple of Star Wars figures. This is the Shadows of the Empire. They are carded, but they're looking a little bit worse for wear. This is Dash Rendar, who was from one of the. Uh, books I've got uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, with the long saber I remember they kind of changed the lightsaber of this one because it was too long uh, and this is from like the I think it was like the 1999 edition that they released Some other jet fire bits. Um, Bosk from the Power of the Force line. Uh, one called R3T7, which is a Tech of the Clones preview figure. Galactic Heroes, which is a kind of like cutesy little rubber figure eyes of some Stormtroopers. I've got um, Masters of the Universe uh, versus the Snake Men. This is the two bad figures. This is a, uh, I think this is about 2003. This came out. A kind of a um, Re kind of imagining of He Man. Uh, I've got uh, Death's Head, which is actually one of my favourite um, lesser known Marvel characters. Uh, this is the kind of like the only real figure that he, that's ever came out for him. Um, so obviously, I picked this up. Then we have a, uh, this is actually a vintage um, Dungeons and Dragons unpunched um, figure of Warduke, who is a character from the actual uh, Dungeons and Dragons books and you know games. He was in one episode of the TV show. Let me have this random little um, figure. I'm not really sure what that's from, to be honest. I think it might have come in the bike once upon a time. Um, I have no idea. I can't remember. I had this when I was like <laughs> a kid. So I don't know where that's come from or what it actually is. Maybe Macross or something like that, Robotech. Next up, we have uh, some dog tags from The Rock. Now, I used to work in the video game industry, and sometimes I used to get promotional stuff. 
Um, and this was for one of the WWE, or WWF back then, uh, games that sort of came out. So this is the 1999 uh, thing. So yeah, so I don't have much of that sort of stuff left, but this was, um, as I say, a promotional thing that I got through working in the games industry back then. And the final thing from this box is the Battle of the Planets. Uh, CD soundtrack. Um, I think probably the last CD that I bought, to be brutally honest. Um, I used to enjoy this show. I was never a fan of the uh, the original Gatchaman um, and all that, but I like the American kind of version of it with the names changed and the song and all that and the new title. So yeah, I got the soundtrack of that. And that is the first box. Uh, what do you think? Anything of interest there? Please let me know and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.